I mean, we talk about cancel culture today. Millennials started canceling when they were 12 years old. They could manufacture a youth reality that was all affirming, all about themselves. I mean, they rate highly now at age 33 on narcissism. Who would have thought that they would rate highly on narcissism when they could walk around with 250 photos of themselves in their pockets <laughs> all the time? My guess, we gave them the tools to extend adolescence. And also at the time, there were all these cheerleaders for the millennials. They're amazing. They're ambitious. They're way ahead of us boomers. We have to ask them how to turn on our iPhone. They're going to lead America into the 21st century. Well, we're 15 years beyond that time. How are they doing? As I said, narcissism is up. Depression is up. Anxiety is up. Suicide is up. Job dissatisfaction is high among millennials. They're not marrying and having kids at nearly the rate the boomers did. One third of millennial men will now never have married by age 40 and probably never will. So they're hitting adulthood. They're facing paying bills and taxes and you know trying to find better jobs and so on. And they don't have that civilizational equipment to cope with, manage, understand, absorb the things that hit them in life. They don't go to church. They're not patriots. Only one third of them call themselves patriots. So they don't have a country that they can dedicate themselves. They're not having kids, which gives you purpose and meaning and self-sacrifice. They're still on their own. And they were told when they were 15, happiness, success is building your Facebook network to hundreds and hundreds of friends. Well, you know what? You're 33 now. That doesn't seem to work. And now they're bitter, sour, disappointed. And some of them are marching up and down the streets and 